Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing something super exciting. At least I think it's super exciting. I am going to be showing you how to do a cosplay makeup look from a character I have not shown anywhere else. This is the first time I'm showing anybody that I do this character, so I'm pretty excited. This character that I'm doing is Baji from Tokyo Revengers. If you've never watched Tokyo Revengers, I highly recommend you do. It's on Crunchyroll. It is super, super good and super, super binge worthy. Definitely highly recommend go watch it. He is super crazy. He's got an awesome personality and I've read a little bit into the manga and I really like his personality as well. Kind of not ramble too much in my intros anymore. Just make sure to give this video a like once you're done watching it or now and go down below so hit the subscribe button and ring the bell notification lets me know that i am doing a fabulous job and lets me know that what content you guys like to see and what you want to see if there's other different types of content that you want to see just let me know comment down below or head over to my instagram that will be linked down below and let me know in a dm my dms are always open with all that if you want to see me transform myself into baji from tokyo revengers or at least trying to then keep on watching Alright guys, so I did my eyebrows off camera because you won't believe I do not have glue. I totally forgot to restock on some glue to glue down my brows, which is what I would usually do if I'm going to do brows like this. Let's ignore the fact that they're uneven as heck. Besides that fact that they are very uneven, um, I could not glue it down my brows, but since I'm only doing this for this video real quick um, and a couple TikToks if that, I'm just going to do it this way and please don't judge i will do an in-depth tutorial of how to glue down your brows and do baji brows basically once i get some more glue but for now this will do please ignore the mess that is that um, as for the base i am kind of going to speed through it right now in the next clips so you can just get an idea of what products i use because it's basically the same your foundation concealer powder that doesn't change no matter what. So let's get going. Alright guys, now that I look as flat as a pancake, let's get some dimension back into this face. We're going to start by bronzing first. Um, personally, I really, really like the Wet n Wild What Shady Beaches bronzer. It is super affordable, huge pan, and it works wonders. And it works perfectly for my skin tone. I'm just going to grab my brush real quick. Tap up the excess, of course. We're going to be cubing pretty to our natural cheekbones. I'm bringing it down a little to create the more masculine thing. Everything's looking good. So now that we're done with the bronzer, are now going to contour. So I use the Park Avenue Princess from Too Faced. As you can see, pretty sure you can see which shade I use a lot. Basically kind of going to go over those areas where I did the bronzer, but now with a smaller brush to be able to get the more precision, I go into Princess Cup first, which is like the most cool tone color of all of them, to really make sure that I get all of that coolness into this area so it really sculpts my face. Now you we just put in the dark. Now we need to put in the light. Enhance. I use this to 
really now start defining the highlights and put everything in. Of course, because we have all this darkness, I kind of want to shape it as well. You can see it's kind of the structure that we got going. Blush helps shape the face no matter what, and it brings some life back into the face as well. I'm gonna use just a little bit of this. Real tip off the excess, fan off the excess. And I'm gonna keep it here this time. Keep warming up the face, keep sculpting it. It just adds a little something, something, you know? Now, this doesn't really need to sit long on the face at all. I'm gonna grab this brush from e.l.f. This is the airbrush blender and start Blending everything. What we're gonna do is I like to at this point grab some setting spray. Remoisten the face. Go with the beauty blender. Push that setting spray into the skin. Still like using just a tiny, 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 tiny dash of highlighter. Ooh. Just a tiny dash of highlighter to really bring everything together. What I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to take the same shade of brown as our contour. I'm gonna take Princess Cut, the same shade we put on to contour. I'm gonna put that all over the lid. Personally, because my eyes are not super veined like his, I'm gonna start contouring that, that V. We need something a little darker, so I'm taking this Peach Tea Palette taking this kind of darker shade here. I'm going to take that darker brown, trying, really trying to stay with the cool tones here, but sticking that, sorry if you can hear the radio of my neighbors. I guess they just got home, decided to be a little loud. Going back to that, just really keeping that the outer V, really cool. I know it looks really warm on camera for some reason, but I swear it's really cool toned. Now we are going to take the black. I'm gonna take black eyeshadow. We are going to take small brush. And we are going to smoke out this area. We're also gonna pack some eyeshadow just like that. Just so it kind of really marks this area right here and here. Small brush. Dark brown eyeshadow. Blend. you can see how much my eye shape has changed already. Just exactly what you want. We've got that base of black. We're gonna take just a normal pencil eyeliner. That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna line our eyes. So you can see I did pull it out in a wing shape. And we're going smudgy, smudge, smudge. I am going to take 
this more orangey shade right here. Packing brush. Smudge all of this. I am now going to take this Take the brown we used, and smoky, smoky brown, smoky, smoky brown down here. That's it. Now I'm gonna grab a brown pencil liner right here, just right here. And there's a little bit of shimmer too, so it'll be great. Grab and smoky, smoky it out. Now I will do some details in black liner because I don't have pointy eyes like Baji does. At least not super accentuated, so I'm gonna do start here. Start accentuating the outer corner. I think it's called extending the outer corner. I don't know. I'm gonna do the pointy point. I'm gonna make sure the black here is a little more pronounced. As you can see, the difference in my eyes. This one looks a lot more slanted, looks a lot more down. So, we are going to go do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Kinda got this eye somewhat in shape to match. Uh, I do apologize if this eye looks a little weird. Uh, I think I got something in my eye and it still hasn't stopped watering. So if you're wondering what that is, uh, I'm fine. It's just my eyeball is acting up today. To use this one that is kind of more on the nudie brown plum side. And then I'll use this lip tint that is a little more on the red side. I'm gonna wash those around and then I'm gonna take a finger. Lightly just press it in like that. And then close. A little. Now we get to accessories. I actually made these fangs myself with some polymorph. If you guys wanna see a video tutorial on that, I definitely will do, can do that. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw on my wig, change my outfit, put in the fangs, put in some earrings, get it all going, and I will be right back. All right guys, this is the final look for female Baji. It wasn't intended to be female, but it just kind of happened. I mean, this could be male Baji. Baji's a pretty guy. He could pass for a girl as well. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the tutorial. I'm sorry if it was a little chaotic. Baji is still a new character of mine. I am still working on improving him and making him better. But honestly, I'm loving this wig. I got it off of Amazon. I will definitely link it down below because it is such a great wig, great quality for such a low price. Like for the price that I paid, I think I paid like 20 bucks for it. Super amazing wig, 10 out of 10, would recommend. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry if it was a little chaotic, but let me know if you want to see that video about how I make things with polymorph as well as how I glue down my eyebrows normally for any type of cosplay that requires it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a like if you did. Comment down below who your favorite character from Tokyo Revengers is if you watch Tokyo Revengers. And if not, tell me what your favorite anime is. I highly suggest you everybody to watch Tokyo Revengers. Such a good anime, totally love. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely, beautiful day and night wherever you may be. Stay safe, stay healthy. See you guys next time. Mm -hmm.